gremlins! Today I'm going to draw a fantasy character based on the roll of a d20 dice. I created a chart of five characteristics to randomize. Species of the character, their magic power, their animal companion, a fantasy quirk of the animal companion, and their weapon or item. The chart is linked in the description if you want to try this challenge for yourself. If you draw a fantasy character using this chart, please tag me at It's Green the Gremlin on Instagram. Even if you don't like drawing, you can use this chart to create a character for a story, game, or just for fun. Anyway, time to roll. Sadly, I do not yet own my own dice. This is a problem I will fix eventually. To roll today, I'm using an online dice roller. First, rolling for species. I got a 12. This character will be a dwarf. I got a 9 for magic power. This dwarf is an alchemist. This should be interesting to draw. The dwarf's animal companion, having rolled a 5, is a capybara. Unusual, but I can work with this. This particular capybara is fantastical because it is, having rolled another 9, made of an element. I will decide which element based on the rest of the characterization. I'm leaning towards earth or water. Finally, I rolled a 2 for weapons, so this alchemist dwarf will wield a sickle. The beauty of a randomized character like this is the unusual combinations that can arise. I would never think to give a dwarf a sickle and a capybara, but here we are. I decided to make this character a traveling potion master, walking through the land with their faithful capybara made of earth and moss at his side. As usual, I had some trouble with the hand positioning, but figured it out eventually. He has one hand on his staff and the other hangs over his capybara's head. I put a lot of potion bottles all around him. I picture alchemy magic as being related to potions and physical compounds, and this is the best way I know how to show that. He has several potion bottles on his staff, as well as a chunk of sulfur, since sulfur appears a lot in alchemy. He also has several vials of potions on his belt, and another strapped to his bag. Yet another potion bottle hangs around the capybara's neck. I tried something new with the outlines in this image. Usually my images have mostly black outlines, with a few coloured outlines in applicable places. When I draw those coloured lines, I usually choose the final colour during the outlining stage, and occasionally change it later if it no longer fits during the colouring stage. In order to avoid that this time, and because I didn't yet know my colour palette when I was outlining, I just drew all the coloured outlines as either purple on the dwarf or green on the capybara. Then, as I coloured, I would go back and recolour the purple lines to match. If you also outline art in a similar way, this trick might work for you as well, as long as the art is digital and the coloured lines are on a separate layer from the black ones. Since this dwarf is walking on a safe path, his sickle is on his belt, not being wielded. I have no idea if sickle sheaths exist, but this sickle is just buckled to the belt with a leather strap, the blade fully visible. This is not a safe way to carry a weapon, but showing off the blade could intimidate any approaching enemies, and this dwarf probably carries enough healing potions to fix any cuts he might accidentally give himself. For the first time in a while, I set myself a colour palette before I begin to draw. I often add too much colour or too little to drawings, leaving them without contrast or accent colours, or too chaotic and uncoordinated. This time, I tried to avoid that by giving myself three main colours to use, yellow, green, and brown. I picture alchemy and potions as being yellow, probably because in the show The Owl House, the potion coven colour is yellow. Most of the potions are yellow, orange, or green. The dwarf has a hooded green coat over a patched brown pants and a yellow tunic. His capybara is made of brown dirt with, with patches of green moss and grass and yellow flowers growing on it. The pair are walking along a path with fields and mountains in the background. I expected this art challenge to push me out of my comfort zone. In some ways it did. I don't often draw male characters or animals, and it's been a long time since I've drawn a beard, but this drawing wasn't as difficult as I expected. I also expected the random characteristics to produce a much more chaotic or incoherent character, but the elements came together really well. I'm sure part of this is just luck of the dice. I enjoyed this challenge, and if this video does well, I will likely use the same sheet of characteristics to try and make more combinations. Remember, if you want to try this challenge as well, the characteristics document is in the description. Tag me with any fantasy characters you make. Thank you for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time, bye!